So something really crazy that happened this morning, I was walking Ozzy on our normal morning walk in the woods by our apartment complex. Just over, I'll show you. And there was a person laying in the middle of the forest area, just sleeping, didn't have shoes on. It was really weird. It was like they were homeless, but they don't look homeless. I'm gonna go see if they're still there and ask them if everything's okay because they are missing their shoes. So as you can see, we have this wooded area in between the apartment complexes. And the person is just laying underneath a bench, not wearing shoes. They have their phone next to them, which makes me think that they're not homeless, which may be ignorant to think, well, a homeless person can have a cell phone, but I'm guessing if your financial situation is to where you're struggling that much, I don't know that you're paying a phone bill. I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. This person's kind of up in there too. Excuse me? Hey, excuse me? Hey, buddy? Hey. Hey, buddy? Hey, buddy? Pal. Hey. Hey, buddy? So he is, he's breathing, but he's still sleeping. He's not waking up and it's kind of freaking me out. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you doing, buddy? So I'm a little worried because He's not like waking up and he's missing his shoes and I don't, yeah. So I'm, I'm headed up to the, uh, the complex now. I met this nice lady and uh, she also saw him and we're both really concerned about um, if he's okay. As you saw, I tried to wake him up and we're both thinking he's probably drunk. We don't know when the, office opens up we're hoping that somebody can go uh, help him so we're just kind of a weird scary situation so we're at the main office now but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in okay looks like we will so hopefully someone can help us out so I talked with the um, the staff, the people that clean the place. Uh, right now, there, there's nobody but the janitorial in the uh, building. So they don't come in until 10, the rest of the people. Oh, this gate's closed, so I'm not gonna be able to go that way. So I'm, I'm hoping that he's awake and moving around by 10. If not, then we'll try again and go talk to him my guess is he's just drunk and eventually he'll wake up and have a nice nice hangover wonder where his shoes are and hopefully go back home and get some sleep um, I think I'm gonna call maintenance and just tell him because uh, there's a there's a line that you can call for Emergencies. I don't know that this is much of an emergency. My guess is everything's gonna work out and he's just, just really drunk and asleep in the woods. Not, not what I prefer for a morning, but. So he's still there, um, out cold. 
Uh, makes me a little nervous. Just, I hate seeing somebody laying, laying the dirt asleep when they're not supposed to be camping. Um, so I, hopefully he, he gets up soon. Um, my plan is I'm just going to leave a request with maintenance and let them know and then they can tell the staff when they, eh, this is just not a fun situation. So I just left a message with uh, the leasing office. They'll get it when they get in in the morning. Um, hopefully somebody can come out and check to see if he's okay, make sure he's not uh, having any medical issues or my guess is once again, he's, he's probably not. It, it just seems like he's probably drunk and sleeping it off. Um, that's my guess since he's missing his shoes. I don't, I don't know why you would come out into the woods and just your socks and decide to take a nap under a bench. So that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, just uh, just concerned about it. I'm not used to this kind of thing, so a um, little, just a little shocked, a little surprised, never seen this before. Um, hopefully he's okay.